With the 20th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Jackson and Jigba, wide receiver, Ohio State. There he is, Jackson, Smith, and Jigba. Forget about 2022. It was just a lost season, nagging hamstring injury. The kid is special. He was fast and quick at the Combine, Lewis, which is what everybody wanted to see. The year before, 95 catches, over 1,600 yards. And, and the thing about it is, again, he's a three-position player, not just a slot player, which is where he can really do a lot of work in the middle of the field, and he did a lot of work at Ohio State. But he's an ex He's a split end, he's a flanker, he's a seed, he's also a slot guy, and they will move him all over the place and pair him with DK Metcalf, Chris Short, and Tyler Locke. And Geno Smith has to be thinking, look, I have a guy here right now who can make the contested catches, who you don't see get run down from behind, who offensive coordinator Brian Hartline out there at Ohio State says, hey, look, of all the good players that I have had recently, all the wide receivers that we put into the NFL, this guy of the recent crop is as good, if not better, than all of them. He believes in the way this kid has, is made up in terms of his, his, his temperament and his intelligence. The hamstring won't be a problem anymore. He's going to be a baller out there in, in Seattle's offense. And, and, you, and you talk about he can play outside, sure, but I think he can be elite inside. His three-cone drill, 6.57. That's elite. That is Julian Edelman-type quickness on the inside. And isn't it ironic that Seattle, they didn't get a quarterback. Here's what they're going to do. They're going to say, you know what? We have Tyler Lockett. We have DK Metcalf. We signed Geno Smith to an ext extension. We're going to invest in our offense and put more weapons around Geno Smith. This guy will work the middle of the field, and he will dominate in between the halves. Yeah, you're at a 4-5 flat. People say, well, he's got deceptive speed. Not that fast. 4-4-9, 4, four, nine, four five is pretty yes, good. Yes. Jackson Smith and Jake Bennett. Utah game two years ago, the Rose Bowl. They have 15 catches. And keep in mind, two years ago, he outproduced Chris Olave and Garrett yeah. Wilson in terms of catches and average per catch. They had more touchdowns. They had more catches, average per catch. And they made a lot of that happen. He got three releases. They were really smart how they devised that scheme to get him free and clear. Jackson Smith and Jigbo in Seattle, the third wide receiver that was a missing link with yeah. Metcalf and Lockett. He will fill a major oh, this, void look, on that offense. This offer. guy is smooth now. I, I, the reason why I emphasize the fact that he's a three-position player is I don't want to just box him in to be in a slot Understood. guy because he can get off the line of scrimmage. He doesn't need formation variation in order to win at the line.